Interior cleaning can be one of the most challenging parts of the whole process for many of you and there is a very good reason behind that because cars like your Bentleys are going to have superior quality to say the interior of a Kia or a Citroen or even a Peugeot. So it's often when you clean those types of cars you get to a point and no return where you could be hoovering for hours on end and you just feel like you're not getting anywhere. However the tool that I have in this box could be the biggest game changer ever. This is the Tornador. It's a revolutionary detailing tool that changes the way you clean your car. It combines high pressure and chemicals and then it swells them to produce a fast dirt cutting action on a wide range of surfaces. So ultimately the aim of this cleaning gun is to make your life easier. So let's take a closer look. This is the Tornador Classic and I'm sure some of you Eagle Eye viewers are going to notice that it says Tornador Black on it. This is just an X demo so we're just going to gloss over the sticker for a minute. My main focus of today's video is to figure out how this product actually works and how it can potentially benefit your business. So the Classic is commonly used in the detailing industry by professionals who specialise in those extra deep cleans. And uh, many pros have been raving about these. So with that being said, I couldn't wait to get my hands on this epic cleaning gun. But I want to take you through how it all works, because the idea behind this is pretty genius. So basically we have a fine tip here in the very end of the cannon. Now what happens is because you're using the air compressor, it will spin it round at such a high rate, when you combine it with the chemicals that flow through the tube as well, it blasts the chemical out in fine particles. So basically it atomizes it. And it just means that if you're cleaning areas such as the steering wheel or anywhere where there's some electrical components like on the door windows, it just means you're not going to oversaturate it and you're not going to cause any damage either. Looking at the build quality, you can see that a lot of thought and effort has gone into the design and everything looks beautifully made. And this classic model has a few features such as a nice dial where you can isolate the chemical reservoir and you can just solely rely on the air coming through the compressor. And you can also control the air that comes through the Tornador cannon, so you can increase or decrease the performance. So a few weeks ago, I bought a Kia Sportage, and it's fair to say that it's not in the best of conditions, especially on the inside. So I thought it would be a great idea if I try this out on many different areas, because the quality of the materials is probably one of the worst I've ever seen in my life. The first thing to do is to tackle those white marks, which occurs when we sweat. And it is our body sweat that consists of water, salt, protein, urea and ammonia, which transfers into the fabric. So I've just added some fresh interior cleaner to the mixture with water, and I will be using just the Tornador and a microfiber cloth, because although the Tornador would still do a good job, a bit of brute force from the cloth would always help. Here I'm just tackling the front two seats, and on the passenger side I'm not using as much chemical because I want to see how well it can perform with the bare minimum. And it did okay, but there were a few stains I could see if I looked very closely at it. And I did two full passes, so it wasn't too bad. However, once I cranked up the chemical and went over it with two passes on the driver's side, the results were brilliant. Now, whether the microfiber cloth helps or not, I'm not sure, but it gave me extra peace of mind. And I wanted to get this job done as quickly as possible because it was scorching hot. After inspecting the passenger seat, you could see where the sun cream marks were in the fabric, but it was only when I had the bright lights on you could really tell. So I do still think you need a wet extractor for those rare occasions where this may not get out every single mark, but all in all I was impressed, mainly because of the lack of effort and time needed to get them to look good again. So it's fair to say that the Tornador did a great job of cleaning the seats up, but we weren't quite there yet. You still cannot get rid of the extractor. That's an important part of any interior detailing. However, there's plenty of other areas within this car where the Tornador could really excel. For example, we have the headlining. Now that's one area where many people tend to struggle because it's one of those parts on the car that you really cannot oversaturate. If you soak the headlining in chemical or you even use steam, you're gonna remove some of that gluey residue that's holding it on there in the first place. So you end up with a saggy headlining. Right, so 10 hours later, after positioning my camera and my body for that matter, I finally found a good test area. Now this has got the usual marks where people have had muddy hands. I'm gonna give it a couple of squirts with this. The chemical's been dialed back and we've turned the air compressor down and I'm gonna follow it up with a dry microfiber towel. That's simply all I'm gonna do, nothing else.
Now we're gonna close that off and we're just gonna rely solely on the air. So the marks have actually come out fine, no problems at all. I'm just gonna dry it off one more time, so excuse me while my noisy air compressor sets itself off in a hissy fit. There we go. So that has come up absolute roses, love that. No problems. So I'll probably tackle the rest of the headlining in a minute, but now I wanna move on to the carpets. Before I got started, I thought I'd quickly hoover up some of that dried mud, and I still can't believe how bad the Kia carpets are. For this section, I'm giving it the full beans with the chemical and air pressure set to high, and it was a sigh of relief because I could see it all flying out. And you do have to bear in mind that if you are using one of these, you will find lots of sand and dried dirt will flick up everywhere. So you need to vacuum as you go along. But Tornador also have a vacuum attachment that you can connect onto the cannon so you can blast them back at the same time, which I think is awesome. Because it was hard for me to get the right close-up shots in the car, I thought I'd show you how it cleans with the mats. And I promise I'll try to get through the rest of the video without moaning about the Kia's poor quality. So the next thing I want to try the cannon out on is these mats. I mean, just look at them. They are an absolute abomination. They are terrible. They're the cheapest quality mats I think I've ever seen in my life. And Kia, if you're watching, sort your mats out because this, I, I've just never seen quality carpet which has been this bad. It's had, I think it's had multiple sprays of carpet dye on it because it's all crispy and crusty. It does make me question what I'm going to achieve out of doing this, but we're gonna set the cameras up and just see how far again we can go with the Tornador on its own and literally nothing else. In this sped up footage here, the Tornador gave it everything and it did take several passes to get the majority out. And in all honesty, if I kept going and going, I'm pretty confident you could get up to 99% of the dirt out. Bearing in mind this was one tool getting these kinds of results, it was pretty unbelievable. And I know most mats aren't as bad as this one, so in terms of making your life easier, it certainly lives up to the expectations. And I'm sure you'll still need to break out the vacuum afterwards as it's something that you always need to do right at the very end. But still, it's far easier compared to vacuuming alone and brushing. As for the trim, it was as simple as it could possibly be. The combination of the chemical and the vortex motion cutting through the grease, it took literally seconds, and I didn't need to break out any scrub pads or brushes, which made a change. And you can use just the cannon to dry it all out afterwards, but I found it did help just having a microfiber cloth. Okay, so we need to try and figure out how this tool could potentially benefit your business, because I do see many more opportunities with using one of these, and we've barely scratched the surface. I mean, you could even use it on the door shuts or even on engine bays. So because this tool can offer a deeper clean compared to say your conventional tools like a vacuum cleaner and a brush, you're gonna be able to charge more for a flat fee and you're gonna be able to carry out the service in a quicker time, which ultimately means more money for less work. And I love the sound of that. And there is another thing to consider because dry ice cleaning is making its way across the UK right now and it is becoming a big trend. However, there is just one major drawback. The prices of those machines can start off from anywhere from minimum of £5,000 all the way up to £15,000. For the sake of £110 on average, I'd sooner go for one of these. Okay, so going forwards, I'm gonna try and feature this Canon in as many videos as possible because I'm so curious to find out all the other uses that I can gain from this one tool. But there is one thing that we really haven't touched upon on this video, and that is the air compressor. You wanna make sure you have one with at least 50 liters, something that's gonna be man enough for the job. Lucky for you, I've already made a video on this one from Hyundai, which you can go and check out right here.